One of the interesting things about Benatarian antenatalism is the way in which it uh, shows that guilt and ethics by denunciation or ethics by scapegoating um, is uh, a durable idea, something that has followed us into the 21st century. Um, I'm rather grateful for Benatar for pointing this out and bringing it into such sharp relief because it, what it does is it enables us to actually see the implications of our own ethical system um, and that allows us to actually examine it with a more dispassionate eye. Um, one of the things that I find most fascinating about that kind of ethical uh, view of things, in other words, um, there are people who are in moral deficit and such people have an obligation to bring themselves up to uh, the moral standard that uh, our ethical system demands is that uh, it can actually turn against the people who created the ethical system in the first place. The problem is things like deficits only exist in the human mind. They do not exist absolutely. Um, but if we agree on certain things, if we agree that there are good and bad people, well, then you get people like thundering Old Testament prophets who demand that uh, people justify themselves, justify themselves existentially. This is a fascinating thing, and this is a theme that I think repeats itself throughout human history. Um, the denunciatory prophet is as old as humanity. Um, it's interesting that uh, I find... Um, Benatar has brought this out in the most uh, sharp relief that I've seen so far, this um, moral implication or this moral obligation or moral imperative uh, to justify oneself existentially. Um, but my first interest in this it came from a very unlikely source. It's a Christian source. It's René Girard who posited the idea, and I find it a compelling idea, that um, civilization made scapegoating necessary, at least in terms of uh, the beginnings of civilization. Scapegoating was an essential part of the foundation of civilization. In other words, uh, we had to have rules, and if we have rules, those who violate them are in a deficit. What do we do about that? Well, in the old days, we just denounced them and said that before God, you are in a position of debt to either God or to the community, and you can pay for it only by altering yourself fundamentally. There is no such thing as such a deficit phenomenally. They can only actually exist in terms of our agreement that these things exist, or they would exist in terms of some sort of metaphysical absolute right or wrong. It was interesting that René Girard, in his book The Scapegoat, pointed this out because I tend to agree with Nietzsche that uh, Christianity is one of the biggest scapegoating philosophies there is. However, um, we've seen with militantly and stridently atheist philosophies that that old need or that old capacity of humans to denounce each other is alive and well.